Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 2nd, 2021. Let's see what we have going on for today. All right. Oh, nice. We have green revitalize your nervous system. The number is 31 reduces to four. One of the biggest reasons why we start to short circuit and we get into a completely wound up kind of energy is because we are being bombarded from every direction with the expectations. This is what you should be. This is how you should show up in life. This is what you're supposed to be accomplishing. And then what? We listen to it, don't we? We think that this is how you are a successful human being. We get these images of what a supposed perfect life is. And it's never perfect. I mean, come on, those things are always so contrived. But this is saying you can release all of the expectations and take the pressure off of yourself and allow yourself to enjoy some upliftment, some, you know, laughter, some play, you know, just go off somewhere and, you know, do whatever brings you joy. Yes. It doesn't always have to be work, work, work. I feel like that's a big message for some of you, but also I feel like this is a message to revitalize your heart space. Why? Well, a lot of people out there, I think, are coming into a space where we care so much what someone <laughs> thinks of us. Even when we say we don't, we, we truly care because we want to make sure that we're fostering some bit of a connection. But we've been doing it in kind of an off way, right? We're, we're connecting with one another through this ego veil. Does that make sense? So this might be like, oh, well, we both are a part of the same club. We should be friends, but really you, you don't share any morals or values. Just because you show up to the same event once a week doesn't mean you have to be friends, right? Or, you know, people will say, well, these are my neighbors, so um, I'm just going to give in to them. There's this message here of um, just because people have been put into your existence doesn't mean that you have to give in. I know that's a very specific message, but it's coming up, so I got to give it because it's for someone out there. So again, you want to get along with your neighbors, but you shouldn't let your neighbors take advantage, okay? Um, you know, we can go on and on with these examples. So if, if some sort of dynamic with another person is setting you at, you know, like sort of making you ill at ease, um, then maybe look at that. Yes. If something makes you feel anxious, that's not it. All right. If there's a potential love partner and you don't feel like real deep love, you know what I'm saying? And you feel anxious whenever you're around that person. Yeah. There's a measure of getting to know them. But for some of you out there, you've known somebody for a while and every time they're around, you get jittery. And because you get jittery, you say, this is a soulmate because I have this intensity around this person. No, 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 no. Remember, there are false flags. There can always be a false flag and that person could come in and really wreck your energy and wreck your self-esteem. But if you have a potential love partner where you feel like you're coming home, you feel like a deep love, you feel at peace, harmony, you know, you really enjoy your time with that person. That's more the direction you want to go in. All right. So revitalize your nervous system. I think that's saying, you know, take, take stock of what's going on in your world, what's working for you and what's not, and be honest with yourself. All right, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.